Hello, hello everyone, Fatty from Pack a Punch Traders here. Gonna make a quick video going over top plays for tomorrow, but also trades of today in any lesson. So we're just gonna combine the usually two videos and make them into one here. Let's start off with let's start off with the losses. Let's do that. SIDU. Here we're just looking and waiting for a multi day bounce. We had a solid gap up. Seemed like momentum was shifting. There was a couple other plays. Like ADN, uh, what else, what else, there's another one, AUVI, I believe, that was a multi-day bounce as well, and just didn't get the bounces, they got a little gap up, but they all got stuffed, and I took a couple losses, being emotional, not really reading the chart or anything, just FOMO, it was really just FOMO, and seeing this little uptrend here, for sure, Dips. I did get in a little early here, in the low sevens got out in the six seventies, and then pretty much did the same thing again. Was in the six ninety five, um, and then stopped out once more in the six seventies, and it just ended up failing the whole day. So now that it ended up being red, and it is trying to hold roughly around yesterday's high, or sorry, low. And we'll see if we could get a multi-day bounce here. We have a solid fade, a couple red days here, shorts are in control. And once we get a little bit of momentum shift, it could be something nice. Here we are having a hard time really breaking five and the low fives. So that could be something for it to get back to test seven, mid sevens. So we'll just see what we get there. But a couple losses there and slightly bigger size, so wasn't that great. Both of them together was roughly, what was it, like three, somewhere around 300. I, I still didn't add it all up. I just got off my shift at work just a little bit ago. So, um, yeah, we'll just wrap it up there. And here, really, the lesson was don't be emotional. Be patient. And even if that means missing the initial move, not getting the perfect entry and sacrificing a little bit more, just for the confirmation to see that it is going to hold up, that could lead to a um, a higher odd setup compared to what I was doing here. Just choppy, volume is fading the whole time, and I just wasn't reading anything. It was just telling myself, well, this is holding. 675 is holding. It's open price. It's holding the VWAP, which it was, but volume wasn't there, and it had a hard time breaking 7. And with that, combined with the fading volume, should have gave me... A good indication that it at least wasn't happening in the morning maybe something later on but should stay away from that right in that moment but I didn't took two losses on it and we'll see what happens I'll probably make the make the losses back once we do get the multi-day bounce here it'll be a nice solid push that I'll get on some decent size and it'll work out so not too worried it just happens sometimes miss time in the play being a little emotional it's okay but here we are. That's going to be a potential play for tomorrow, as well as my losses today on it. Got back barely green because of REV here, right out of the watch list from yesterday. I ended up alerting this. It was a pre previous high of day break over 472, and we're just looking for the continuation of the breakout in the low threes. We got a low float play, failing the breakdown, confirming key levels. Volume increasing as well. More buying coming in. Shorts are just failing to break this thing down. Let me get rid of these things here. Let's zoom out. So we got this back and forth action. We had the break over three. That was a nice way to end uh, the week last week on Friday. And kept holding up. Failed to break down. Led to a hold of red to green. Today and from there, it was just an uptrend. Volume kept pushing, and I was waiting for that 460s, 470s hold. And the reason I say 460s because intraday, when we go to it, we had a solid top, <coughs> excuse me, right in the 460s, right below 470. So I kind of lined it up as it holding right around that zone of the previous high day. So when I kept seeing higher lows, some more volume reclaimed and held VWAP, I just thought we had a solid 
setup coming along and I got it at 463 not that crazy a size because my morning just kind of messed me up a little bit and didn't have that much money left in my account so took whatever I had left what was it 2500 or 3k something like that I had 500 shares at 463 um, and yeah it's pretty much i don't know what else to say about this it was bread and butter setup just recognizing the momentum the continuation of the breakout the failure to break down here this was key if you miss it here that's all good it's okay this is the confirmation this is right out of the video lesson i made last night talking about recognizing key levels and playing off of them this is something i talked about it failed to break down at the previous high of daybreak right around five holding a zone, a key area, failing to break down, and for a solid amount of time, it kept failing to break down. And once we get that volume perk, all majority buying, you get an indication that it wants to head higher. And not to forget here, it's still holding trend. They just had a few things lined up. Shorts failed to take it lower. They started covering their position because at this point, it's a confirmation that they're going to be losing because at it could have just topped out at five and shorts add into it and okay it ends up failing and they're happy but that didn't happen it confirmed 472 and to shorts at that point they're like okay we're gonna have to call it now it keeps uptrending next resistance isn't for a little bit there and that's how we get this move on top of buyers recognizing the breakout there's also shorts failing to break this down or trapped in it and when their expectations are broken and they're losing money they're gonna cover and that leads to a nice push to seven we'll see if this thing gaps up I do think we get another push higher before this thing ultimately just fails and yeah that's all I can say about that one brought me back nicely took it for a dollar I even finish up my trade here um, so 463 got out at 565 into the push here. I really wanted to wait for more, but I felt like I was being greedy if this ended up topping out in the mid fives and I didn't take my dollar and I was green on the day, I would have been a little annoyed. So took my gains and we move on now. It's nice to see it continue. We get a lesson from it. Uh, all I can really say about that. So let's just jump into the watch list here. We already went over SIDU from multi-day bounce. Let's go over another multi-day bounce. ADN. We got a solid push here. Backside. Let's see if we get a gap down. I don't know how this shapes up, but we're just gonna start looking for the failure to keep pushing lower and start breaking to new highs, and that's gonna trigger shorts to lock in profits and the buyers coming in some more and pushing it higher you just play as we always talk about usually offers 25 30 percent so work with that lock in your quick 10 15 percent if it's up maybe 10 to 15 percent on the day be a little quicker you have a little bit of a range still of 10 to 15 percent but knowing that it does top out roughly around that area just use the data in your favor and sometimes they take off you know it is an average there's going to be some that don't get to 30 some that we've seen that end up pushing higher end up breaking out and going for 100 percent more run so it is what it is we're just trying to lock in our quick gains and move on and just take the predictable part of the pattern the familiar part of the chart uh auvi we got another potential multi-day bounce here incredible push from one to four now we have shorts taken over volume is fading it does seem like it is having a harder time pushing lower we got kind of a crunch in the lows here so if we get some buying coming through it is a low flow we can tell from the past that it does have the ability to move quickly and that shorts are you know they had their eye on this now that it's failing they're enjoying it we're up what almost 50 percent so yeah i'll start looking for this for a solid multi-day bounce here uh if it doesn't work out you know that's happened what was it tnxp i think not too long ago efoi some of these don't end up working out but just keep them on watch because they're going to be failing doing nothing until it does show some bottoming action and you get that solid bounce 
and I want to be there for that. So AUVI, keep it on watch. Next up, AUST. <clears throat> Here, low volume, but also a low float. So when it does come back, something like this, it's going to be nice. We're going to get a solid push. It can move decently. we got a breakout in the 240s, 250-ish area here. And still failing to really break down. And it's still holding up on lower volume. Making me think that we might have some more upside. Seems like it's coming off of a solid base the 170s so with a low flow trying to uptrend if it starts reclaiming the mid twos that could easily push us into the three low threes ultimately i think we could get to the top here if this could stop lagging 370s or so last time there's really any volume there's gonna be some bag holders weighing it down weighing it down uh, in the mid to high threes so keep an eye out for that price area but once again, if it holds up, confirms that area, who knows? Next up, we get to five, past that, whatever it is. But keep this on watch for a breakout. Volume is key, though. That's going to be necessary for it to come back. Because right now, it ain't shit. It's not doing anything. And without volume, you're not going to have the quick, volatile moves that we're looking for to profit off of. Next up, TRHC. Amazing push here. Failure to break down. Held red green. 250 to 4. Pretty quick time. Not that low float, but not that high either. Low market cap. What do I have this as? Previous high daybreak. Yeah, we got the solid top right around 4 here. On top of today. But we do have some solid volume. Let's see if we get a continuation of this momentum if shorts fail to break this down as we see the pattern of this chart is any pop is a good opportunity to bet against it and as we can see how much it's off the highs already that's a good bet so if it fails to continue to push lower and it comes back for some reason it really does come back to four same thing as rev as we went over look for that confirmation the failure to break down Shorts are going to be underwater. Their expectations are broken. Dip buyers are, or buyers in general are going to come in recognizing that. <clears throat> and might not be a REV style play. Who knows? Might not give you 50% or so. But it could offer a, at least 10%, I would say. Just a quick angle from shorts locking in their loss at that point. Just covering. Lastly, ELMS. Multi-day bounce, cheaper price, but here we are, solid push going from around 12, 15 to 58, and that puts it on radar for a multi-day bounce. We like these things to have a solid push on the front side, 150% or more ideally, and that offers typically a solid bounce play once you get the backside. So we had this sideways day day here now we really are pulling back we'll just look for that momentum shift it does have some support looks like around 27 this was a key area here let's see if it keeps trying to hold around 25 27 in this zone comes back hold 30 and we get a solid push to 40 that's going to be within line of that 30 percent of um this play typically spiking 30% or so. So that's on watch. That's it for tomorrow. We had MREO, REV being great calls for today from the watch list. MREO, let's get that up here. We're looking for that breakout, a continuation if it failed to break down. Previous high daybreak holding the 150s. Only reason I was not watching this as much the float and you can see the difference although this offered a nice move from the 150s 160s if you kept holding to two it met the it met my goals of getting to two but you can see here with this float and we were going to compare this to rev both of these are previous high daybreak plays look at the possibilities here it 
can squeeze a lot further in a shorter amount of time or even in the same time it's just going to go further all because of the supply and demand here we have a low float doing insane volume when the trend is in your favor it's just going to keep heading higher so we'll just wrap it up longer video right now hope it was useful give this a thumbs up subscribe to our channel check us out on twitter at pack a punch traders besides that we'll catch you guys later have a great one